Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. I am your host, Matt. If you find these videos useful, go ahead and upvote them, share them with friends and family, helps us get found. Today we're continuing our series on WordPress contact form plugins and uh, sharing my opinions on how to quickly get contact form plugins installed with various contact form plugins, and then sharing my opinion on some of these. My chair is still shaking and making noise, so I do apologize for that. Uh, today we're taking a look at Caldera form. We've looked at a whole host of others, um, and go ahead and check out the YouTube playlist for that if you're looking for one in particular. But Caldera is definitely one that is probably the most opinionated out of all of them. And when you start to think to yourself, why should I use a particular plugin? Well, you can take a look at the videos that I've created and see if you like what you see and how fast it is to create a contact form, um, if that's what you're after. But Caldera is definitely one where I think is positioning themselves as one that uh, is made for developers and one that's definitely made for somebody who's doing a lot more with their contact forms, uh, even beyond like uh, pricing or marketing integration, that kind of thing. So, you know, a lot of people use an advanced contact form to sync up to their MailChimp mailing list, right? Um, Ninja Forms has a great add-on for that. They, they, they all do at some, some capacity. Um, but it all sort of relates to how these developers look at their software, how they build their software, and how you'll, you'll use it as a, as a user, right? So, again, uh, simple payments or, or payment gateways, Gravity Forms does a great job with their add-ons. Again, they all do, but I think Gravity Forms is very opinionated on how they deliver these add-ons to you to build these forms. Caldera can do all that stuff too, but the workflow, the feeling, um, the options of their form is made for developers, I think. And you'll see this with some of the add-ons available in the repo. So Caldera Metaplate, Caldera Custom Fields, Caldera Postmatic for Caldera, Caldera Forms to EDD. Caldera forms run action, right? There's all of these different things that you can do with Caldera, much more for the advanced user. And uh, let's dive right into creating that contact form like I've been doing across the board here. When I click on new form, uh, I do like this. I like how they give us that contact form, that easy starter contact form that I can select from in this little template box. But you can see that, uh, again, when I say, what is their opinion on creating forms? How does that translate to how you experience it. Well, variable pricing form with add-on products, registration form with optional additional participants, like these two right here are well beyond the starter contact form, right? So what would be, uh, you know, one that, uh, you know, if the basic user needs a starter contact form, well, maybe the basic to advanced user, user or basic to intermediate user would probably want like an event registration page. So we go from basic user to, you know, advanced <laughs> right out of the gate. Uh, so I think they're appeasing to the contact, the basic contact form crowd, um, but it's not really meant for that. But you can still do it. You can still do it, folks. So I created the basic contact form. It drops you right into their builder. Again, the building portion of contact form plugins are very opinionated. It's what makes, uh, it's the user interface, how you experience building contact forms is also very important because you'll be in here doing that stuff <laughs> or your client might be in here doing that stuff. And that's where uh, these things really start to set themselves apart. Now, uh, Caldera is the only one that I know of right out, out, out of the gate for free where you can actually create grids or columns of fields uh, and, and text boxes and, and submission buttons, all that stuff. Um, Formidable has that, but only in their pro version. Caldera is giving it to you out of the box for free, which could be overwhelming for some. And I, I feel like I'm being very, um, sort of, uh, very opinionated on Caldera. Uh, but I'm just saying that if you're here to build a basic contact form, this stuff might feel overwhelming to you, or or not. I don't know. Um, you you can be the judge. Let me know in the comments. But you can. It's cool that you can do this stuff. I can drag and, and do that. Um, really great. Uh, but maybe overwhelming to some, especially as they build out these plugins or these fields. But again, right-hand side, you have all the traditional stuff. Uh, if I want to make uh, different fields, uh, single line text, email address, button, phone number, all that stuff is available. Um, special fields, star ratings, range slider, file upload, uh, toggle switch, autocomplete, all that stuff is here. Um, and they uh, give that all to you for free. So that's really powerful. You can build that powerful stuff. Um, but as we move along, and again, I'm just trying to show you how to set up a basic contact form. As we move along, if we go to the email section, this is where things begin to 
uh, you start to see the notes of how this is for a advanced user. So, you know, what we see here is uh, attach a CSV version of the submission, right? We don't see that in, in many other uh, contact forms. Enable email send transaction log, right? This stuff becomes um, very, very focused on the developer, which is great if you're a developer and trying to do these advanced things with forms. But you can see from the basic user, it might be a little bit difficult. That's okay, we move on. Processors. Um, if I want to set up an autoresponder, I can. And I can say, you know, hey, thanks for submitting that email. We're going to get back to you as soon as possible. That's awesome. But as you add processors, um, you can do some other, you can do other more powerful things like create another autoresponder, create a redirect, um, incremental value, increment the value, um, conditions, add conditional group. So I can say like, here's a new, um, new condition. Uh, and type. Uh, I can show hide or disable. So let's say show, uh, add a conditional line. If uh, the first name is, you know, uh, you know, whatever. I can say if the first name is Matt, um, I can add a condition. Uh, or excuse me, I can add that. I can remove that condition. And I can apply this to the fields, right? So if the first name is Matt, um, maybe the message, you know, changes along the way. Something like that. Um, Variables, you can send variables th through the contact form, maybe into another contact form, into another page. Um, and then you can adjust the responsive uh, viewports uh, if, you're, if you're looking to um, make you know, complex grids. So the workflow for saving and publishing a form, to me anyway, feels very much more developer focused and that's okay. So I'm gonna save the field that saves it. And again, if we go into form settings, we can grab the short code to drop into any of our pages. We can give it a description. Um, we can do the uh, show entry view page, that kind of thing. Uh, a honeypot, even just the word honeypot is much more for the developer focused or people who are really uh, living and breathing sort of the, uh, the internet uh, and security and things like that. Uh, custom callbacks, Ajax submissions, multiple Ajax, you can do all this stuff, right? Very powerful. Go to the, over the page homepage. And again, I can drop in, I did that again where I, oh, I did drop in the, the short code there. So their short code actually displays the contact form. So this is uh, unlike many other contact form plugins where you don't know what that contact form looks like. Um, or maybe if you have a whole bunch of paragraphs of content before it, you don't know how that's going to look uh, in the editor until you save it and go look at the, at the homepage or any page. So I do like that. That's a very nice touch, uh, a very nice feature to have in a contact form. And again, I can always click on um, Caldera form here, drop in the basic contact form, and I can even set it as a modal. So when somebody clicks a link, clicks the link, um, it'll open up a modal. So let's take a look at that real quick. So I'm going to save that, update that. This is a very nice touch um, as well. Give that a second to save. And then we'll take a look at the front end. View the page. So there's the uh, there's the form, right? That's the, the basic form that I inserted through the short code uh, before. But if I click on this, boom, I can insert the, I can, you know, input the same contact form right here in a modal. Very nice touch, um, especially if you're doing some kind of inline text contact form, um, maybe something where there uh, isn't enough room to display all of these fields or it's some complex fields and you don't want to display it all on one page. Very, very nice touch from, um, whoops, very nice touch from Caldera. Uh, look, again, that's how fast it is to get a contact form. I think every one of these plugins can get basic contact forms uh, super fast into your website. It all depends on where you feel like you want to either invest your time into building contact forms. Um, so again, I feel like Caldera is very developer, developer focused. And if that's who you are and what you're going to do with these websites, excellent, excellent choice. Um, if you're somebody that wants an immersive, engaging building experience, um, so far, Ninja Forms does a great job. If you're looking for a traditional, you know, well-built, gonna be there for you, Gravity Forms, formidable, uh, is gonna do it 
for you as well. Uh, there's not a lot of overhead, although there, there, there can be as you get deeper, uh, at least the first layer of that onion is a, l a little bit easier to, to work with. I like Caldera. I like what they're doing. I like the mission that they're going after. Uh, if, again, if this suits your needs, it's a great contact form. It's PluginTut.com. I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel if you find these videos useful. Share it with friends and family, everybody. I'm your host, Matt. See you next time.